The grander and more well-known Sinyalog is a celebration that is closely associated with Cebu, and it is annually celebrated and organized in Cebu City. However, Carmen in northern Cebu has hosted the inaugural Sinyalog in 1974, or several years before it was originally staged there. Father began the event. Jose Motus of Calibo, Aklan, organized contingents for what was then known as the Adi Adi Hanese Carmen, but was renamed the Sinyalog Festival the following year with the assistance of Carmen locals. Without a doubt, the Carmen Sinyalog takes place before the Cebu City Sinyalog Festival. The fourth Sunday in January now marks the date of this festival. I was unable to decline this particular invitation. I had just finished watching an episode of Cabalan on the STO. When the request to judge the Sinyalog S.A. Carmen came via a call from my friend Manny Gumban, the tourism officer there, and Deo Generalo, director of this yearly event, it was during Neo and Sinyalog in Cebu City, aired on Sugbo TV Channel 14. I was informed that Carmen Mayor Martin Gerard Villamor was eager to speak with me and learn more about the STO. Neo was present and insisted that I go see the authentic Sinyalog celebration in Cebu. The assertion that the Sinyalog there is significantly older than the one in Cebu City and the tale around the STO piqued my curiosity. An ancient community called Neo of Luyang is situated close to the town's core. The first one can be easily verified and is recent recollection, but the second one has been passed down down the centuries as folklore. The Sinyalog S.A. Carmen was established in 1974, and the event I attended last Sunday was its 39th annual competition. A parish priest named Father initiated this annual celebration. Jose Motus was from Calibo, Aklan, which is where the Ati Atihan Festival is held. Sadly, the Grand Sinyalog Parade in Cebu City has since supplanted it because both events take place on the same day. Father, the event was organized by Motus with assistance from locals, most notably the current mayor's father, Virginio Benyong Villamor, himself a mayor of Carmen until his untimely death in 2008. Last Sunday, there were six local contingents and 11 contingents from outside of Carmen, an increase of four from the previous year. Adi Adi Hanese Carmen was the name given to it when it initially began in 1974, but the following year it was swiftly renamed Sinyalog Festival. This unquestionably makes it the forerunner, or, as the present mayor refers to it, the uncle, of the Sinyalog Festival of Cebu City as it took place five years before the latter. Because the event in the capital city is so much bigger and more commercialized, it is now held on the fourth Sunday in January. But why did Carmen's notable residents and parish priest choose Carmen as the location for their yearly Sinyalog? The presence of a STO is the key to the solution. Neo is a sculptured image that is purportedly made of a black wood, making it much darker than the figure seen at the Basilica del Sto. Juana, the wife of Raja Humabon or Hamabar, received the picture of Neo in 1521. According to legend, either Magellan or Miguel Lopez de Legazpi, the Spanish conquistador who successfully brought Cebu under Spanish rule in 1565, left one behind in Luyang as well. Even rumors of the STO exist. Before the one in Cebu City, the Neo of Luyang was distributed. A folder holding Cebuano narrations that Mario John Gon, a local police officer, had inherited from his grandparents, was given to me by Mayor Gerard Villamor. Oral history records the significance of Luyang as a seaside town that served as a hub of pre-Hispanic trade between locals and Chinese and other Asian merchants. This fact appears to have been supported by the looting of graves for their ceramics and gold that took place in the 1970s. It's also significant that Luyang is home to Carmen, the only remaining watchtower from the Spanish era. The oral narrative of John Gon speaks of the arrival of Spaniards with a miraculous STO but makes no mention of Magellan or Legaspi. Neo, who stood up for the locals against the Moros' terrible slave raids. Additionally, it recalls the function of the watchtower, which is still present. 
Whether accurate or not, this story covers the time frame from the late 1590s, when the Morrill raids started, until well into the mid-1800s, when they essentially came to an end. Unless there are more versions of the tale, this indicates that the STO. A few decades after Legaspi's arrival, Neo of Luyang may have actually been an image carried there maybe by an Augustinian friar who had already established a mission station or visita there. Unfortunately, one cannot definitively date this image without first taking a radiocarbon sample from it, something I doubt the residents of Carmen and, especially, Luyang, will ever agree to. There is no question that the picture is there at the chapel in Luyang, erected high at the altar, and that it is accompanied by the sinologue, which similarly without a doubt started in Carmen. What needs to be done then that is feasible? One example is that the watchtower in Luyang has to be restored and preserved as a memorial of the STO marvels. Beginning to unfold were the miracles of Neo de Luyang, which are said to still be happening today. Let me conclude by saluting the 39th annual Sinyalog SA Carmen winners. I would like to express my gratitude to Mayor Gerard Villamor, Dax Barlin, Engineer Alan Navarro, Deo Generalo, Paolo Anupe, Manny Gumban, and the residents of Carmen for the rare, albeit brief, opportunity to be with them. Pitt, sir. If you like this video, please subscribe, leave a comment, and turn on the notification bell for more videos. Thanks.